bloody, bloody Bible camp. I knew this was going to be fantastic just from the first line of the movie. Like, this is literally the first thing you hear from any of the characters. It is. And I quote, Jesus probably had a big penis. <laughs> <laughs> it's so amazing but that's not all like this is full of just some classic classic lines uh four people split off to go have sex uh one of them uh one of the women just bends over on a tree stump and goes back door is always open for jesus <laughs> <laughs> it's fantastic. And the other one, right after having sex, like immediately just goes, I gotta take a dump. <laughs> it's so great. And then we fast forward. Uh, we find out that the killer's name, oh, he of course killed those four people, obviously. One of which is, <laughs> I don't even know if I want to spoil it because it's that hysterical. Um, I'll just say somebody's head falls off, but I won't say how. You have to watch the movie to believe what you're going to see. It's fantastic. But we find out that the killer's name is Sister Mary Chopper. Great name. Fantastic. Uh, people are going back to this camp because they want to revive it for Jesus. And uh, we have a bunch of different types of characters, but all the stereotypical characters from a horror movie. And, of course, my people, the fat guy, he's just a simple fool idiot. My people are always always the like the simple idiots man it's not cool but speaking of him <laughs> there's one scene where he's jerking off and the entire time i'm sorry jesus 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 he says it like 10 times all while jerking off and the whole thing is gross but also hysterical there's also another great line uh, this movie is just full of classic lines. <laughs> There's, My daddy doesn't let me play with black boys. It's like, whoa! <laughs> full racist there. Oh, 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 I forgot something about the, the jerking off fat guy who was sorry for, to Jesus. Um, I had to write this down in full. Uh, <laughs> he says in that quote, What is all this white stuff coming out? This must be the holy water Father Cummings was talking about. And then he calls his dick the holy boner. <laughs> oh my god, this movie is great. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Another line from the fat guy, because of course he's the comic relief here. <laughs> uh, they're talking about, uh, well at one point, you know, they want, he wants wieners and like hot dogs, but the way he like phrases it, it's very sexual. And at one point, <laughs> it's breakfast time. If there's anything I like more than hot, juicy wieners, it's big brown sausage. <laughs> I love this movie. It's so great. Okay, so <laughs> enough of the ridiculous lines. Um, we find out Sister Mary Chopper is actually a dude who was... Uh, she's like shamed for having a whore mother and this whore mother wanted, actually wanted a girl, not a boy. And that drove him to kill people, apparently. And then there's the deaths. This movie has a lot of great deaths, man. <laughs> Someone gets their head smashed in with a cinder block, which is fantastic. Another one, one of the girls gets in bed with the killer, somehow does not notice that Sister Mary Chopper is laying in the bed as she lays down. You know, he doesn't get into the bed after the fact. He's already in the bed. She doesn't notice. She then proceeds to get sodomized with the cross that he uses to kill people. And then he proceeds to shove that cross down her throat. And then we discover her roommate is sleeping in the bed next to her. Randomly wakes up, sees her dead. Somehow didn't hear any of it. Didn't hear her friend being sodomized, though she thought she was having sex. Didn't hear her friend getting a fucking cross shoved down her throat. Nothing. That is a deep sleeper. And to top it all off, Jesus is played 
by Ron Jeremy. And going by what we know about Ron Jeremy now, it's kind of disturbing. But, <laughs> but just, it, it's on par with the overall choices of Bloody Bloody Bible Camp. Now, the acting is atrocious. It's absolutely terrible. But the effects, the practical effects, are overall pretty good. The little bit of CGI they use, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, the story is fun, mainly because of all the just stupid, insane, hysterical lines that come out of some of these actors' mouths. Honestly, if it didn't have the hilarity to this, this movie would be one of the worst ever. <laughs> but because of the hilarity of the lines, I ended up loving this movie. But it is still an overall shitty movie. <laughs> it's still definitely craptacular. But uh, I'm going to give Buddy Buddy Bible Camp only three. Did you enjoy the review? Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to see a new craptacular horror review every week. Feel free to leave a comment to discuss your thoughts on the movie or if you have a film you'd like to see reviewed in the future. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.